Okay, so let's have a quick recap what we have discussed in our previous session. In previous session, we have learned about how we can create our AWS account. And then we have discussed about how we can create our Windows EC2 machine. It's a virtual machine which we have created. And after that, we have connected with a tool called Remote Desktop Connection. By using this tool, we have connected our Windows virtual machine. This is what we have discussed in our previous session. And while ending the session, I have already informed you guys, while practice, if you face any issue, drop an email to me. But in the chat box, now few people are giving me the, informing me that I'm getting this error message while practicing it. Why you guys have waiting for a session? Drop an email me on this spot if you're getting a facing any issue while practicing it with screenshot with whatever the details you are seeing it. Just with that complete screenshot, drop me an email. So whenever I'm going to see your email, I'm going to reply you guys. Okay, let's have a few questions. If anyone have any question regarding the previous session, whatever we have discussed, please raise your hand. Yes, Amar, you can unmute. Uh, hi, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Amar. Is my voice clear uh, to you? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Sir, I have some questions. Yesterday, you are uh, teaching you new Amazon accounts and Windows. AMI. Windows EC2 machine. Yes, sir. EC2 machine. Uh, I have some questions, sir. Uh, Windows uh, Server 2019. You have uh, basic uh, knowledge about the commands, sir. In, in your voice computer. is a little bit slow. Can you please increase your volume, Amar? Hello. Uh, sir. Yes, Amar. Uh, sir. I have to ask you Windows. Uh, Server 2019 uh, install after command you have to learn the basic knowledge. No we, no, we don't need to. That is actually, Amar, it's not your part of the job to install anything. That is yeah. a developer's work. So whatever the type of software which actually you need to create under that or application, that is their work. Our sir, task uh, is to go with the work, create a virtual machines uh, sir, and manage for, those virtual machines. Uh, sir, for, uh, for example, uh, client has told me that virtual machine create an E2C machine and uh, software has to software install software. No, that client. Why? Why? I'm saying, Amar, you have to install software installation. Karna, aapki responsibility is not yours. Okay. Now, you don't know which developer has made which application. So, you don't know which software you have to install. Okay. Now, let's say Python practice. Python for Java practice. For Java practice, 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 for for example, we install करने तो easily install हो सकते क्या Windows Server If you have a .exe file, you can install it. Okay. If you have a .exe file, that you can just click on next, next, next. We can do that. And if you remember it in previous session, I've already told in real time. Majorly, we are not using Windows machine. We are using Linux machines. So yes, you need to load Linux commands. Okay. So whatever the commands we are going to use, just learn those one. That is sufficient for you. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, Satish, unmute yourself. Hello. Hi, Satish. Hi, actually, I have not. If I have a command, I will be using it. We don't need to require any commands to work on Windows machine. You can, you have a console access by using the console, you can do that. Graphical interface access, you have it. Okay. okay. Hari Babu, you can unmute. Hi, Ankit. Good evening. Good evening, Hari. Uh, my doubt is regarding yesterday's practice. Hmm. I was trying to so, get the password. I waited for almost 45 minutes, but uh, I didn't get the password. You have so, to wait just four minutes after that when you click on that. The option I which I'm many times, you will but get it. It's not happening. Did you drop me email to me, Hari? No, no, no. Because no I, I, thought... I just want to know as to why you have, uh, when you have done practice yesterday, night after might be eight o'clock you have done. So you have no, to no. wait. Good morning itself. 
Okay, today morning you have done practice. So yes. from today morning till you are waiting right now to get there, your answer. Why? No, no, I Why? thought of uh, in the question session, right? right? You'll be having it. On this spot, drop me. So you'll get a quick answer by yourself. I thought Don't of you'll be for so the many mails, right? Uh, Don't worry email. about that. Don't worry about, about my emails. I want you to get your answer to having... and practice it as much as you can do that. No, I thought of you will be having continuous classes, right? That's why you're not doing it. No, don't worry about that. Okay? okay. Whenever you have any question, drop that. But uh, I'm not, I don't know what actually the error you are getting it. So actually, in that case, I have to check that also. Okay. So in some cases, it is not possible for me to answer you that your correct answer without seeing those details also. Okay. So you can do one thing, terminate that machine and correct, uh, create again. If you're still facing an issue, let me know. Okay. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, thank you. And one more question. Yes, sir. Recently, I've completed uh, DevOps training. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, like AWS, so do we get any interview questions on DevOps? Yes. Also? No, but, this is it. I'm going to provide inter AWS one, so I'm providing you inter AWS interview questions to you, not the DevOps one. Okay. So whatever the services we are learning, based on that, I'm going to provide interview questions. Uh, not about you, because... Uh, these are all interlinked, right? That's why for Dev uh, for Amazon uh, for AWS you are giving questions, but for DevOps so we are not getting any questions. So I'm not providing for DevOps. I'm going to only providing for the AWS interview questions. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, Mama, yes, you can unmute. Mohammed, yes, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Let's start with our today's topic where we are going to discuss about EC2 machine again. In previous session, we have discussed about Windows EC2 machine. And today also we are going to discuss about EC2 machine, but with Linux operating system, we are going to discuss it. Process is same. The process which I've used to create Windows machine, same way I have to done here. Also. But yes, little bit changes will be there. Now here in recently used, I'm able to see EC2. I'm going to click on that. Click on instances. Now you can see here, I'm getting it no instance. In previous session, whatever the instance we have created, I have deleted that machine. I have terminated that machine. So after termination and after a few minutes, that machine is going to delete from our console. So I'm just going to launch instance. Give the name. So I'm just giving it Linux hyphen 96 batch number 96. Done. Next thing what I need to do, I need to select EMI. I have all in for me in previous session, the EMI stands for that operating system which actually we are using it. But here we are going to use EMI. And in Linux one, we have multiple types of EMIs. Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat, so we are getting these are the which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use Amazon Linux. Selected that by default. And even by default, they are selecting it free tier in G1. So I go for the same. Next instance type that is also by default selected T2 micro. Same way. Next step, we have to go with key pair. E is a password, like in previous session, we have generated a password by using the key which we have generated here. So this is a key we have to generate. If I want to use the same one which I have generated in previous session, I can use the same key also, the same key windows one. But I'm not going to use the same one, I'm going to generate a different key for this. Get new key pair. Right now, again, I am generating it PEM file. Regarding this PPK option, also we'll discuss it. Create key pair. 
done. So I got the pen file. Let me save this pen file in my batch 96 folder. Done. Scroll down. Default VPC is no preference in subnet. Now, anyone can tell me for Windows machine, you can answer me in the chat box also. For Windows machine, which port number is required to get enabled? Correct. RDP port number, which we have discussed in previous session. And what is the port number? Double three eight nine. This is what we have discussed. Now, this is for Windows machine. But today we have to connect which type of machine? Linux. For Linux one, which port is required? SSH port is required. So it for, means whenever we want to connect any Linux machine, it is mandatory. It is enabled with port number S with port SSH. Now, what is the port number for SSH? So I already got answer. Very good, guys. The port number is 22. Correct. The port number is 22 for SSH. For RDB, port number is 3389. For SSH, we have a port number 22. Very good, guys. So here I've got the answer. This is the port number which we have. And what is its source? Anywhere. Now, in previous session, what I have done is I have used the default name, whichever is given it from AWS to my account. Launch Wizard 25 we have used. But in this session, I'm going to teach you how can I give my own name to security groups. Even I have an option to select existing security group also. But I, I, right now we didn't create any security group. Actually, I have a lot of security groups. But for this Linux, learning Linux, did we create any security group? No. So I'm not going to use any existing security. Now, how can I give my own name? Scroll up, click on edit. Scroll down. Here I can give my own name to my security group. Let's take a name here. SG, this is better. Linux hyphen 96 hyphen SG. And which port is enabled? SSH port. If I want to change port now, I can do that also. If we want to add more ports, we can add more rules also. Regarding this, we'll discuss later in our upcoming session when we'll discuss more things. Scroll down. Like when I'm creating the Windows machine in previous session, we have taken one CPU, one GB of RAM. Same today also, we have done the same thing with T2 micro type. Yeah. Next, we need hard disk. For Windows one, by default, they are giving 30 GB for Windows machine. But Linux one, by default, how much they are giving it? 80 GB. But yes, if I want to increase till 30 GB, I can increase because they are giving till 30 GB free quota to us. But minimum requirement for Linux operating system is 8 GB. That is minimum requirement. For Windows 1, minimum is 30 GB. So we can verify our details. Name, AMI, instance type, we have created. This thing we are not learning right now, so I'm just leaving this thing. This is important thing we'll discuss later. Security group right now, I have given my own name with the port number SSH. 8 GB storage, we are getting it. And then we have advanced details. Regarding advanced details, we are not learning right now. How many machines are required? Only one machine. I'm getting that. Here, AMI, instance type, Security group storage, which we have selected. So we have done all the things. Now I'm going to click on launch instance. Here I'm going to click. So after this system will create our machine. So let me just click here. 
now our machine is ready. So let's just wait for a few more minutes. Now here I'm getting it. Now, what is the next thing after creation of our machine? We have to connect to this machine also. Like for Windows machine, we have used which tool? RDP, remote desktop connection. So like for Linux machine, we also need to use a different tool. That particular tool, which actually I'm going to download, that tools are actually called as terminal tools. For Linux operating system, we have multiple tools in market. There are a lot of tools we have it in market to connect your Linux machine. For Windows, we have one only RDP, but for Linux, if I'm talking about, we have multiple tools. But which one I am going to use? I am going to use that particular tool, which is very commonly used in market. And you can see here before that, the note, the one which we have discussed. Uh, which tool I'm going to download? I'm going to download Putty and PJ. So these two tools I'm going to download. What is the use of these tools? We'll practically see that. Also. Now here I have given the website from there you guys can download or you can just search on Google. You will get the same website. There. It's a completely free tool. This tool is not chargeable. It's a completely free tool. Now when I scroll down, yeah, the first thing which I'm getting here is putty.exe I have to download. As per your system requirement, just click on putty.exe. System has downloaded that. It's a very small tool also we have. So first tool we have downloaded. We have to download one more tool. What is it? Putty gem. Scroll down the same website. Yeah. So from the same website, you can download Putty and Putty Gem. You have to download as per your system requirement. I got it. Now I'm just going to put both the in our 96 folder. Here. Done. We have downloaded both our tools. Now after downloading of both the tools, the next thing what we have to done is we have to generate APK file using a tool called Putty Gen. Right now, I have downloaded which file? The key which I have downloaded, it is downloaded with which extension? .pem. If we want to use Putty, we have to generate a PPK file by using this PEM file. We have to generate a PPK file by using this PEM file. And how we can generate by using a tool called PuttyGen. By using a tool called PuttyGen, I'm going to generate PPK file by using my PEM file. I'm going to show you this thing. See very carefully, guys, what I'm going to do right now. Because if you've done any mistake, you will get an error message while connecting to your machine. So double click on putty gen. Click on load here. I'm getting two options. Generate load. Don't click on generate at any cost. Don't click on generate at any cost. We don't need to do anything. Just click on load. So I'm going to click on load. After click on load, we have to select that PEM file. Right now I am in batch 93. I have to change it to batch 96. No file showing. Why? The reason is the extension, the system has selected that I have to set PPK, but there is no PPK file in my system. So change this to all files. And now I am able to see my PEM file. I'm going to show you again, guys, see very carefully. So first of all, you have to open PuttyGen, click on load, go to your folder wherever you have stored it, change it to all files and select your PEM file. Open, click on OK. 
Now, after that, we have load our file. What is the next thing we have to done? Click on save private. So first you have to click on load. Then you have to click on save private. If you click anywhere else, you will, your key will be wrong. And while connecting to your machine, you will get an error message. So just click on load and then click on save private. So I'm going to click on save private key. Yes. Now give the name, whatever the name you want to give. If even you want to give your name, you can give it. I'm giving same name as my key name. So it has helped me to recognize that this PPK file is for that particular temp file. Done. So I have generated PPK file by using the temp file. Next thing, select your EC2 machine, click on connect. Click on connect. Where we have to go, go to SSH client. You can see here I have multiple tabs. Here we have a SSH client tab. We have to go there. And after that, we have to copy our records. Which record we have to copy? Do we have to record full record? No, this one. <laughs> this thing I have to copy. So in that example, whatever you are getting, you have to just copy this particular thing. So just copy this one in your notepad file. Done. Now open putty. So I'm going to open putty now. Now they are asking for host name or IP address. What is it? Port number 22. So we have to enter our host name. This is our host name, which we have note down actually. Yeah. Next thing. Enter the host name. We have to attach PPK file with property. How we can attach? See very carefully. Click on SSH plus button. Then click on auth. Auth means authentication. And here I am getting an option to select PPK file. So here I have to select. Go to batch 96. Next PPK. Click on open, click on accept, and you can see here, I am able to connect to my machine. Here I am able to see the machine which we have created and we are able to connect to that particular machine. Clear guys, this is how we can create our machine and we are going to connect to our machine. I'm going to show you one more way actually here. Right now, we have four tabs here. We have seen which option, SSH client. I'm going to show you EC2 instance client option also. So for this also, we have to open Putty. So let me open Putty again. Now what it is giving me, it is giving the public IP. So copy the public IP, just give here. Again, attach your PPK file, same way. Click on open, click on accept. Now you can see here it is asking for user. If I'm using that SSH client option, in that one, it is not asking me anything. Directly it get connected. But here it is asking for username. So what is our username? EC2 hyphen user. So you guys, if you are using Amazon Linux machine, EC2 hyphen user is your default user. So I'm going to enter EC2 hyphen user. 
and you can see here i'm able to connect to my if you want to just check the updates you can just give that particular command sudo yum update if any update is there in our linux machine system is going to update so here we are able to connect to our machine and we have done all the updations whichever is required in our machines so this is how we can create our linux machine and we can connect to our linux machine and yes after our practice what we have to done we have to terminate our machine that is we have to done because we don't require that machine anymore so let's have if anyone have any question regarding this linux machine or want to ask anything please raise your hand yes patyat ready chilla you can unmute yourself uh hi uncle uh, hi. Good, good evening yeah Good thank evening. you yeah thank you yeah actually the ankit uh, this is my first class uh, actually the previously is a two days session i couldn't able to join uh, because of my works are you in the uh, whatsapp group yeah, yeah i mean the WhatsApp we have group. shared the record already first two session recordings we have already shared oh uh, i don't i think i'm not in the group i i, I am in the different uh, batch groups but i'm not have to join ews batch 96 whatsapp group Oh, okay. I'm sharing uh, the WhatsApp group link again in the chat box. Okay. Guys, if you are not in AWS batch 96, please join the group. If you are okay. already there, please don't join duplicate groups. Oh, no, no, I am not that in the group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. And uh, yeah, yes. one more question is I am very new to on this and uh, AWS, and even I don't know about that. Uh, what is the EC2 and all? Uh, That's, yeah. That is what we are learning it right now. Nah? That is yeah. why we have start learning about EC2 machine. EC2 mm -hmm. machine is like a virtual machine we are creating. Mm -hmm. So we, I yes. know that you guys are, you don't know anything. That's why you are here to learn it yeah okay is okay, there any uh yeah is there any chance to like actually i am basically from the java uh so mm. my yeah so is there ch any chance to learn about that how do we deploy the uh like uh, so microservices into that uh, easy no, that is developers works okay okay we have our task is to create these machines and manage those machines that's what okay. we are going to learn okay okay all right okay. yeah Yes, OPPO F11, you can unmute. Deshmukh, you can unmute. John Alex, you can unmute. Prashant, you can unmute. Yeah, this is what I have told in some last two sessions. If you don't have any question, please don't raise. Why I don't you know that why you're wasting your time and others' times? If you don't have any question, please don't raise your hand. Or if your question is already answered, lower down your hand. Vishal, you can unmute. Still, Bobjan, you can unmute. Okay. okay, hi, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Yes, you can ask your question. Uh, how, how many ways we can connect to this uh, EC2 instance? How many ways? Ways, yes, we have like, so uh, two ways. The other more, there are more ways, like you can buy using the CLI, I, also, you can do that. Yeah, okay. So regarding those things, we'll, we'll discuss more in our upcoming session. We have just started learning, so with that we have shown. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes, Gopal Rao, you can unmute.
Chandru, you can unmute. Guys, I'm going to lower down all hands. Okay, if you have any question, now you can raise your hand. Yes, Anup Kumar Singh, you can unmute. Hello, hi. Uh, hi. Now, so actually, I just wanted to ask about uh, the commands which you are using for Linux. Uh, uh, can I you didn't use right now any command, just I've used only one single command to update the repository. Mm -hmm. so what is okay, repository so, is where actually our yeah. softwares are getting installed, that is actually called as repository. Okay, so you wrote something like sudo su. I'm not sure what was that. So can you whatever I'm using tell it, me that something? is mentioned in my PPT. Whatever the commands I'm using it, those are in the PPT. Sudo yum update is the command it is mentioned here, which I have taken it. Mm -hmm. Sudo su is the command to switch user. Okay. In Linux one. So if you okay. want to switch user, that is a command sudo su you have to use. And a yum okay. update is a command. In, in Linux operating system, we are using in Amazon Linux, we are using to update our repos. So whatever the new updates are there, it is going to install. Okay, sure. Thank you. Yes, Shilpa, you can unmute. Uh, sir, uh, the last step is terminate or stop the instance. Whatever the instance, you, right? you want to do, you can do that. If so, you want sir, to use that machine future, Okay, you can stop the machine. Stop means like you are shutting down and after that you can start that machine. Terminate means you are deleting that machine. If you want a new machine, you have to do it manually again. So as we are learning what we need to do? Terminate. Depend on you. Okay. I don't so require that machine anymore. I'm terminating you. If you require that machine, you think that you require, so you can stop or you can terminate. I don't require so I'm deleting it. Oh, okay. okay. It purely depends on you. Whichever yes. you feel comfortable, go for that option. And As sir, if me, we don't hello. If we yes, you can continue your question. Yes. So uh, if we don't do that, what uh, exactly happens? Seven till seven fifty hours you have free. After that, they are going to charge you. We'll get the bill oh. after 750 hours. Oh, thank you. Yes, Bhaskar Rao, you can unmute. Yeah, uh, hi, Ankit. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Yeah, Ankit, uh, just uh, I mean, uh, small doubt. Actually, I was into middleware domain. Uh, so, mm -hmm. if I need to, uh, after learning this course, if I need to update my resume in such a way, uh, like how many years I can update, like uh, whether it Two can to three years. So for two to three years, the projects which you are going to cover, like as per this, pro, I mean, two projects you have mentioned. So will you can put these also or whatever the other things you have in your sem sample is used, I'm going to share it. You can put those also. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. In sample resumes also you have. There are near about 12 to 14 sample resumes I'm going to provide. Those also you can do. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, so we are going to discuss about the new option. We are going to discuss it. We can generate a PPK file by using our AWS account also. Right now we have seen it. We are generating a PPK file by using a tool called PuttyGen. But a same PPK file I can directly generate by using our AWS account also. Now I'll tell you one important point also, listen very carefully here, because that point is going to be implemented in our upcoming session. The point which I'm going to discuss right now. This PPK file using AWS account, I'm just going to show you for your knowledge purpose that we have that particular option. Because sometime in the interview, they can ask you that option also. But in our practice sessions, in our upcoming sessions, in real time, we are not using this option. Why we are not using this option? The reason is, in some cases, we need PEM file also. In some cases, we need PEM file to connect to our machine also. 
So remember this point, which actually I have told you right now, because in our upcoming session, I'm going to use that thing, which I'm actually I'm telling you right now. So how we can generate a PPK file by using AWS account? Go to network and security options. Under EC2, network and security, and here we have option of EPS. I have generated two keys right now till now. Search 96. Are we able to see both the keys which we have generated? Yes. Yeah. And here I have an option of create new keyboard. Give the name of my key. Linux 6 PP. This is the name I'm giving to my. Giving the name, scroll down. See here. Earlier, when I'm trying to connect, when I'm creating a EC2 machine, at that time when I'm creating a key, I am using which option? M option. But I can use PPK also. For use with OT. For use with OT. Here it is mentioned. PPK file is only used with OT, not with any other else. But that is only used for the first time. In our upcoming session, we need PEM file. So this option we are not using in our upcoming session. We are not going to use in real time also. This option I'm just informing you for your knowledge purpose. When I click on create, I'm getting my PPK file. So now I don't need to generate a PPK file by using for teacher noise. Now I'm going to create one more Linux machine. And after I'm creating this machine, I'm going to use this particular key. Amazon Linux, E2 Micro. Here I am. Linux 96 PPK. Security group. I can use existing security group also. The security group which I have created just for my Linux machine, I can use that same one also. So just search. Sit here is it. Linux 96 hyphen SG. If I want to attach more, I can attach more also. Multiple security groups also I can attach with my machine. So I know I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to launch this. done, I'm able to create my machine. Now in previous example, the one Linux machine which I have created, what I have done is I'm going to that machine, then I go to connect. And then from here, I'm copying the public IP. We don't need to come every time to come here. We can note down our public IP from here also. We can even copy from here. Even we can copy that IPv4 details also from. So I'm just copying the public IP. Open the putty. Pasting the public IP. And now I'm going to link this PPK file with my putty. EC2 hyphen. See, when I enter my username, EC2 hyphen user, I am able to connect to this particular machine. So we can generate a PPK file by using our AWS account. That's why I have shown you how we can do that because they can sometime in the ask in the interview also. Can we generate a PPK file by using AWS account? Yes. That is why I have shown you this option. In real time or in our upcoming session, we are not going to generate a PPK file by using our AWS account. 
the reason i have already informed you the reason is we need pem file in our upcoming sessions so when why actually we need whenever we want to connect from one ec2 machine to another ec2 machine we need pem file and that is actually a very important thing we have to discuss in our upcoming session so from this virtual machine i am going to connect this virtual machine privately so in those cases we need pem file that is why this ppk file option we are not using any more this is just for this one session and this option i have shown okay now coming to the next option next option i am going to show you how we can transfer our local files to our webs to our ec2 machines how we can transfer our local files to our ec2 machine i am going to show you for windows also and i am going to show you for linux one also so first i am going to show you for windows so let me create one windows machine let me even i can use the same one also for my linux one i can use it okay let me do one thing let me first create a windows machine and then i'm going to show you for both the also let me first create a windows machine we have already know how to create a windows machine which we have done in our previous session windows e2 micro key pair the existing key pair i have this key so i can use this key i'm using it security group i have to select existing security group which we have created in previous session what was the name launch wizard 25 and if i want to check whatever the ports are enabled in the security group how can i check that click on compare security group rules i can verify rdp port is enabled scroll down launch instance so we have created our windows machine linux machine we already have it so we can use the same so first let me show you for the linux operating system then i'm going to show you for the windows so for linux we already know how to create a machine we have already done that we connect to that machine also but if you want to transfer our local files to linux machine you guys have to download one tool it's a free tool what is the tool name win scp i have given the link here from there you guys can download and install this tool in your machines if you just search on google you will get from there also and my machine it is already installed i'm going to use this tool so now what it is asking it is asking for host name host name means public ip of my machine and then we have to give our username our username is ec2 hyphen user this is default user because we are using amazon linux if you are using ubuntu or if you are might be using red hat your default username will different this is for amazon linux we are here. next thing what we have to done we have to link our ppk file with this winness so i'm going to advance under ssh we have authentication option and there i am attaching a ppk file this i am using it for that particular machine okay log in yes i am able to connect to this let's create one file aws file hyphen six Okay, just I'm creating it. Then I have created a file. I'm going to transfer this file. 
just how to transfer from left side to right side drag and drop select the file and the drop to on right side yeah. file transfer now in the chat box guys can you please confirm me by using which linux command i can see the files by using ls we can see that I'm already connected with that particular machine right now. So I'm just typing LS here. Are we able to see the same file here? Yes. We are able to see the file which we have transferred. So yes, we are able to see this. So in the, by using WinSAP, we can drag and drop, we can do that. But from left side to right side, we can do And after that, by using my putty, I'm able to see the files also which we have transferred. This is how we can transfer our files from local machine to our Linux machine. And now I'm going to show you for the Windows machine. So first of all, for Windows machine, we have to generate a password. So before that, I'm going to note down the public IP of my machine. In this example, I'm not going to use the DNS. In previous example, in previous session for Windows machine, we have noted down this public DNS name. I'm not going to note down this one because we can connect to our Linux Windows machine by using this public IP also. By default, for Windows machine, our username is administrator. Now I'm going to click on connect, RDP client, get password, browse our key, open, decrypt password. I'm getting the password. Now, in our Windows machine, guys, we have to do some settings. What settings we have to do? Open remote desktop. In the computer option, enter your public IP. Click on show options. Give your username, administrator. Now after that, we have to do some settings. Click on local resources. After that, click on more. After clicking on more, you guys have to check a checkbox called drivers. You guys have to check a checkbox called drivers. So in my system, it is already checked. So you guys have to also check this too. And under this, we are they are giving it option that I can transfer from C drive, D drive, or any devices plug in it. I can do it from there also. So if I just check the driver checkbox, all checkbox are checked. Click on OK, click on connect, click on connect. Now enter your password. Click on OK. Yes. Done. I'm able to connect to my machine. Now, what is the next thing we have to do to transfer our file? We'll see that. Just let our machine get ready, then we'll see. Done. I'll just submit. Our machine is ready. So now what is the next thing we have to do? Just copy this file and paste the file. So in Windows machine, you have to just copy and paste the file and which one we are able to see. Yes, might be a few people, those are working on Windows. They know that there are some other tools. We have FTP tools also. We have it by using this also. We can do that. But yes, we can use that, guys. But this is one of the simplest option 
I have shown you to transfer your files in your Windows machine. So with the help of this one also, you can do that. Or the other option which I have shown you is about for Linux one is Windows. Now, why actually I have shown you we have to transfer our local files to our servers because in our upcoming session, I am giving you few files which you guys have to transfer in your machines. It is mandatory. I'm giving you a few files. You have to transfer that particular files in your machines. You have to do. So that is why I'm teaching you right now this thing. So in our upcoming sessions, you know how when you're doing practice, how to transfer your files also. That is why I have shown you this. Thing. Otherwise, it's quite difficult for you to practice if you're not able to transfer those files in upcoming sessions. So this is what we have discussed about how we can transfer our local files to our EC2 machines. Next, we have to discuss about web server. So we'll discuss that. Let's have a few questions and then we'll discuss about. If you don't have any question, guys, please don't raise your hand. Yes, Sivam, you can unmute. See guys, still I'm telling the same thing. If you don't have question, don't please raise your hand. Respect other people time. Kavya, you can unmute. Hi, Ankit. Hi, Kavya. Uh, yeah, so yesterday and today we have just created uh, one instance each for Windows and Linux systems, right? Correct. So what if we want to create multiple the same configurations instances? Do we have to do the same process multiple times? The no. PPK files no. and the password generations. You want Will to it defaultly multiple... to create multiple machines? We have an option here, Kavya. Kavya yeah, but me? yeah, yeah. But what about the remaining processes for the for rest Linux? Of the we don't need to do multiple times for each Windows machine. We have to do. If you are okay, using the me. same, let me complete. If you are using a same pen file for Linux operating system, Kavya. Okay. Okay. PPK file with pen file is same, so it means PPK file is also same. So you don't need to do anything much more in for Linux operating systems. But yes, for Windows, for each Windows machine, you have to generate. Okay, for each system, we have to generate the PEM Windows. file and generate password. No, PEM file, you can use same, na? Okay. Okay, PEM file, you can use same. If it's the same type of machine, you don't need to use multiple PEM files. Only one PEM file is sufficient. And in one go, you can create multiple machines. So you don't need to do it every time, same thing to create machines. Okay, so it's the same password for all the machines? No. For Windows, it is not. Okay. Manually, you have to done one by one password generation option. Okay. The PEM okay. file is same, but the password generation has to be done individually for all the systems. Correct. So it will be different. Then for Linux? It, it can be same. Because we are, did, are we using that uh, AWS option to generate password? No. We are only generating a PEM file from AWS. Okay. Then after that, we are generating a PPK file from yeah. the gen. That is same. Okay. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. You can try that also when you start practice. Okay. Okay. Your okay. doubt will get clear. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, OPPO 11. Yes, Rizwana, you can unmute. Yes. 
Galaxy M12, you can unmute. Hello. Yes, may I know your good name? Yeah, my name is Babu Rao. Yes, you can ask your question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, we how we are using the prem uh, prem file and PPK, right? So, what is the difference between a prem and PPK? PPK is a private file. Prem is a public file. Public file. Yes. Yeah. yeah actually, even example, if you I want to PPK. connect, to, if you if you want to connect to your Linux machine, you can connect by using prem file also. But for that, you have to use a different tool different terminal but right now the terminal which i'm using it with that terminal i can need to use ppk okay. okay and one more thing while creating the vm right we are giving the security group right uh, for example if the security group whoever is there in the security group and they can able to access the vm right and the security group uh, actually, we are uh, while creating the VM, we are giving the security group right? one security. Mm. There, for example, uh, whoever is there in the uh, group, they can uh, they they only able to access the VM. Or are, uh, are we restricting? No, but the security what group? we are giving right now, we are giving public access. Okay. So public access means a person. Uh, if, let's say you have public IP. You have username, you have a temp file, you can also connect to the same machine. Okay. Anyone can connect to because I'm giving public access right now. Okay. Okay. If I, but yes, in our upcoming session, we'll learn more things also about those. Things. We have just start learning it, these things right now. Okay. 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 And one more thing, uh, I have to, for example, we can assume like that I have created one VM, and that VM we are going to give to the business user every time we need to set up that. Uh, this this VM, thing, which thing you're talking about? Them. Sorry, can you repeat again? Actually, once we create the VM, uh, we are going to give the same VM to the business user. Yes, we can assume like that. Say the same mm. time. The business users also do the same settings for his uh, mission. We'll create users. For everything and we are giving to the business users. We are not giving our default users to our other team members. For them, we are creating users. Okay. Okay. We'll learn that in our upcoming session regarding the Linux part. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Monil, you can unmute. Yeah, hi, Ajit. Uh, a quick question. If I'm using Mac, uh, hmm. I think I'm not able to use Putty or is that no, any other No, you have to download Gitbash. What is that? Gitbash. Gitbash. G-I-T-B-A-S-H. G-I-T-B-A-S-H. Get, okay. Hmm. Gitbash, you can use it. Or in my so it, uh, Linux, that Mac is also having their inbuilt also some. Tool. I don't remember the name right now. They have some inbuilt also tool. So do I need to also. download the PPK file in that case or I can have No, you, in that particular case directly you can use PEM file also. Okay. With that particular command, whichever is that command they are giving it. Huh? Not in right now it is not actually showing me because I'm using PEM file. You can go to connect yeah. in SSH client, whatever the command right now you are getting it here. That with that particular command you can connect. Okay, but right now I don't have a PEM file, otherwise I'll show you the also for that. Okay. In my machine, so, I already have a git bash installed. See here, there is it. So it should like this here to you when you right click. Where is it? Okay. Here okay, it. okay. So there's a right click, git bash here. So you have already installed it, that's why you are seeing this. Yes. This so this is one you can use it. Or might be there is, I have already, I'm not 100% sure. In Mac operating system, you have some inbuilt also. You can use that also. Oh. You can check that. I'm 100% sure about that one. 
okay and even in your mac operating system you guys don't have remote desktop connection you have to download remote desktop connection manually that is not by default you have it okay okay to connect to windows machine you have to download remote desktop connection you can download from google okay a little complicated then uh, yes for mac is little complicated so if you just search in google you'll get your solutions also for that if you face any issue drop me an email i'll help you okay that. okay okay thanks ankit okay yes hari babu you can unmute yes ankit uh, regarding uh, git patch can we use uh, uh, for amazon linux own, uh, do we need to use only putty or uh, git bash no, you can use git bash also like just now i have talked to the person also you yeah, can use I mean, git bash also okay then what is the difference between uh, putty and git bash the different different tools we have okay so the terminal is same have. the number one is putty said number two is git bash in market okay so both the systems both are same both are okay. same the work is same Mm -hmm. The only thing is to help you to connect to Linux machines. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, sir. Lee Malik, you can unmute. Yes. Yes. One. Um. Uh, yeah. Hi. I think you would have uh, answered this question, but I had joined in later. Uh, I had this question from yesterday for this Windows and Linux machine. Um. See the seven fifty hours, which has been provided for free. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if we turn off the machine, uh, I mean, it should put as a stop instead of terminating. Uh, I, will it consume those hours or, or no? No. I mean, it's not going no, to right? consume those hours. But did oh, you require okay. that machine any more access in future? Yeah. I mean, let's say if I'm doing any kind of project, uh, which I have a dependency, so those machines. So yes, you can I stop that machine. <clears throat> stop it, and then I can resume it back. So it will consume from right. that. And one I'm important right? point. If you stop yeah. your machine, if you start your machine after that, mm -hmm. your public IP yeah. will get changed. Oh, okay, not not okay, because the public oh. IPs which assigned to our machines dynamic, is yeah, dynamic. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's got it. how to assign yeah. static IPs also? I'm going to after few days. I'm going to share one video <laughs> in our group YouTube video, or you guys can check our YouTube channel. In that one, mm -hmm. I have already uploaded on video. Uh, you mean static uh, public IPs or a private? How to IP assign or? static IP? For or you can also IP. call it elastic IP. In AWS, elastic we are IP. calling it elastic IP. Okay. Here okay. we have. You can see on the networks and security here we have. Okay. okay. And make sure uh, I'm, I'm I'll inform my team. They'll share that video also with you, or you can check that. Make sure you're watching that video complete. Because okay. in between, if you're watching it. Or mm -hmm. if you start practicing it, and I'm hundred ten percent sure you will get a bill for that, and a very long bill. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. in that one, I'm teaching it. After our practice, you have to release that elastic IP also. Because oh. elastic IP is a thing which is chargeable and it is costing very high also. I see. Yeah, because, because it's elastic static, IPs, uh, we are IP we are reserving any IP address. Yeah, yeah. So after our practice, we have to release it. I agree with you. Okay, so I'll inform my team. They'll share also the recording. Regarding that, or you can check our YouTube channel also for me. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Yes, Mohammad Irfan, you can unmute. Yeah. Uh, hi, hi, Ankit. So I uh, just need to confirm, like for example, we have created and like VM, whether it is Windows or Linux. Uh, mm. Can we give access for multiple users, like uh, for example, uh, in 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 a project we have like many users. Yeah. The can't you provide like multiple users to a single instance? PPT number 10. Oh, <laughs> we are going to discuss it. Okay. Okay. We learn for Linux one, not for okay. Windows one. Even I don't know how to create in Windows one because I didn't work on Windows machine. Early yeah. yesterday session, I've already told that in real time, we are not much using Linux operating system. Yeah. 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 So True. for Linux one, definitely I'm going to show you. That is actually a very important thing which you have asked right now, Fun. Yeah. Because definitely, so let's say I have created a machine for development team, we are not giving the same user to all. Right. We are giving the different different users. So with the help of this one, uh, our company Linux administrator can track also whatever the activities are doing on travel Linux. Correct. Correct. Because otherwise, other people is saying that I didn't do this thing. Other people are saying I didn't do this. So how we can track it actually? 
So who has who is responsible for the work whichever the wrong thing happen in our machine? Mm -hmm. Right. So we have to create users. Yeah, generally, we use we don't give the root access uh, for all. Users. No, it should be like a, a service user, I mean service account. Okay. Correct. We are creating the user, or if you want, as per your client, if you want to use the same PEM file, you can use it, or if you want to use different different PEM file for user, you can use that also. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, Amar, you can. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, Amar. Uh, sir, I have some question. Uh, market is uh, demand of AWS is uh, Linux or uh, Windows? Most of the. Sorry, can you repeat your question number again? Uh, most of the AWS used for the Linux or Windows. In a cloud platform, we are using majorly Linux operating system. Linux. In cloud platforms. I am not it's talking cloud. about AWS. Okay. I am yes, talking cloud, about sir, cloud, cloud platform. Cloud. So it means all cloud platforms. Yes, sir. Sir, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, sir, uh, total uh, background is about the Linux and this uh, command for the cloud. Yeah. Yes, your voice is very low, Amar. Can you please little bit increase your volume? Uh, sir, is the cloud platform we are used for the Linux command is a perfectly in background. Whatever the commands I'm going to use it, Amar, you are getting in the PPDs. Just learn those one. That is sufficient. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank or in you. the okay. end of the training, what I'm doing it, I'm going to share all the Linux commands also. So if you are more interested to learn Linux, you can learn from here. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. That you are getting at the end. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Narveshri, you can unmute. In the vestry, you can unmute yourself. Amar, you can unmute. Yes, Shrikan. Hello, sir. I am Shrikan. Uh, sir, I just want to ask about the uh, speaker. Which Putu version we have on this? Sorry, your voice is not able <clears throat> to hear you. Please, can you repeat again? Hello. Hello. Yes, Shrikan. Yes, I want to ask which Putu version we have to download. This is which I have used right now. Putu and Putu Gen, you have both you have to download. Okay. And both are free too. Okay. Today's video, will you want to share on WhatsApp? Sir? Sorry? Uh, this Today's video we'll share on WhatsApp. No? Yes, we'll share today's video and today's the last video which we are going to share with in our WhatsApp group from tomorrow. No videos is going to share okay. in the WhatsApp group. Okay. 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 Yes, Atmanath Reddy, you can unmute. Good evening, Ankit. Good evening. Uh, I have one doubt is there. For example, we have created two missions. One is window, one is Linux. So we mm. can transfer from Windows to Linux. It is possible. What do you want to transfer? Means for Complete your question. That's one. For example, in in virtual Windows machine is there. Some file is there. So we can that file send to Linux or Mac like that. Virtual okay. Mac. You want to transfer the files from both virtual Windows machines, to, both virtual machines from Windows to Linux, Linux to Windows. Yeah, it can be possible by using some other services. There is no other normal way we have it, but yes, we have a services by using this. You can do that. Like that previously, you are showing shown same like way, no? No, that is I have shown you from local to one, no? How you can transfer from Linux to Windows? That is also your question, no? Yes, yes. Uh, the next one, you there is no way you have to do. You have additional services. You have to use it. So you are from Linux also to Windows. It is going. Okay. Okay. And one more. But that is going. It you okay. have to install those particular services under your platforms. Like in AWS, in Linux, one there is a service called uh, EFSX. We have to install it, and we have it in Windows. We have a different service. 
and both the services we have to link it by using a service called data sync it's actually a very long process which you're talking about but for yes from windows to linux it can possible by using winsab but from linux to windows is not possible it's a very long process okay and one more doubt for example if windows is just created for example if terminated after the how many times we can delete it the instant will be changes again same instant will become id if you terminate your machine it is yeah. not possible to recover that machine yeah next time again we create a new instant the id will be changes new now. id okay new instant id you are getting it okay at okay. a time two windows is possible no? two yes windows. you you can create 100 windows machine at a time okay thousands also okay that's okay. all yes nishant you can Nishant, you can unmute yourself. Kailash, you can unmute. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Uh, I'm audible. Yes, I'm able to hear you. Uh, as uh, you have suggested, uh, for the cloud perspective, we are using only for Linux-based machines, right? Uh, as a uh, as a you know uh, Active Directory uh, administrator. In future perspective, how we can deal uh, through the on-prem to cloud? Uh, because uh, Linux, li Linux have uh, is efficient. Uh, I mean, yeah, is inbuilt service so IM AIM right for the mm. uh, regarding the same uh, identity provider, right? Mm. So it will be uh, merge automatically, or uh, it uh, should be change uh, other way. Mayor, what's your question actually? I'm not question is, uh, suppose you I... want to merge a cloud with on premises, correct? Correct, correct. So we have a different services by using that, it can be possible. Okay, thank you. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Salvaraj, you can unmute yourself. Chandra Ravi, you can unmute. Avdesh, you can unmute. Hello. Yes, Avdesh. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ankit. Actually, uh, I have one question. Uh, if we want to transfer one file from one EC2 machine to another EC, EC2 machine, then how to set up SSH connection between the, these two machines? You want to transfer from Linux machine to another Linux machine? Yes, yes, yes. By using SSH. Yes. I don't or know about that one. The other way is EFS. We are using in real time in AWS. We have a service called EFS. We use that of particular service. That is actually a storage service we are using. Okay. That is actually a storage okay. service we are using. It that is with the help of this one. You can you are storing your files under EFS. It is shared with all Linux machine. That what we are using. In cloud okay, platform. By, by using a wget command, correct? By using EFS service. EFS. EFS service. Okay. Okay. By using it, we are not sharing. We are what we are doing it. We are creating under files under EFS, and that is shared with all Linux operating systems. Machines. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. Thank you. Anuj Yadav, you can unmute. Hi, Angit. Hi, Anuj. Uh, actually, my question is that uh, when uh, actually I am most time connect to my my EC2 instance uh, with the help of uh, Gitwes, uh, like that uh, you told that for uh, one of the colleague is uh, uh, I think Mac OS for Mac OS. Yeah. So, he's used like i am using windows operating system he's using mac operating system okay so i am mostly uh, i am mostly used that uh, uh, git best so i just want to ask it is secure for me or uh, no, you I can use it is secure like earlier also i have told number one is Portis, number two is git bash okay 
so these two are the very secure terminals we have it in markets in real time we are only using these two terminals not any other one okay okay okay, okay and, but, uh, one more thing uh, uh, ankit uh, so actually i am uh, i want to switch my career in uh, devops so when i uh, go to training center so they mm. said uh, they said me uh, you have a prior knowledge of any cloud cloud uh, services like azure and uh, aws in or aws because it so, is good it is easy to understand devops if you have that prior knowledge okay. otherwise if you directly go with that one it's quite difficult for you to understand that's why they are saying okay okay so uh, i'm just asking uh, it is sufficient for me uh, uh, in uh, devops or should i uh, learn more uh... go with aws aws plus devops is sufficient means cloud plus devops is sufficient okay, okay. thank you okay. okay okay so with this i am ending this session guys in tomorrow's session we are going to learn about ec2 service because we have just started that service and under this we are going to discuss about a topic called web server this is what we are going to discuss in our tomorrow session while practice if you have any question please drop me an email with to me with all your details thank you guys thank you for the today's session see you tomorrow thank you